Ren, I mean, you can put this off for as long as you want, but that last box filled with mom's stuff will just be collecting dust. You made it your job, not me. I told you I'd do it, okay? Just, I don't know. I'll do it. Okay. It's gonna be collecting dust. Well, the only thing collecting dust are those stupid jokes you start throwing every time someone brings her up. March 19th, 2003. The sun is extra bright today, and of course I forgot my sunglasses, but it's always worth coming out here to paint. I just love the pond and how the sun makes the water sparkle. I hope it never changes. This morning, me and my friends went out for coffee, and we made sure to stop by our favorite vintage store. Of course, I had to buy something, so I picked out a new pair of silver earrings that I adore. Anyways, I'll, I'll write, write tomorrow. again tomorrow. Bye. December 14th, 2023. The doctor said I don't have much longer to live, and I can't bring myself to tell Ren. After all we've been through these past years, I'm not sure what the right thing to do is. How I wish you got along better. Not, not sure she sure ever she realized, ever realized how, alike how alike we truly were. Honestly, it was probably my fault. I feel like all her life, I've been caught up in my own problems. I never let her meet me. And now that my life is put on a timer, I'm not sure I ever will. Oh, my sweet Wren, how I wish you knew who I was before all of this happened. You would have loved me. If I could go back and do it all again, I would bring you to my ponds to paint. I used to stay there all day long until I couldn't see my canvas. Was it ever named? I only had a note with the coordinates in a few memorized directions. It's weird to believe so much of my life is documented in this book. I'm beginning to wonder if anyone will ever read it. I started it to give my future daughter. I'm not sure she'll even want to, but... Ren, if you are somehow reading this, just keep being you. There's too much to say in not enough time, but just know I always have and always will love you. No matter how mad you are at me or how much you think I don't care. Love, Mom.